He must have made a face at the thought, for Tom chuckled and Moiraine smiled again. The two of them soon lost interest in sporting with Matt, however, and turned to a soft discussion. That affection in their eyes was true. They did love one another. Light! How had Matt missed it? He felt like a man who had brought a hog to a horse race. He turned to make himself scarce and leave the two alone, but he froze. That was no deer in the bushes. It was too tall, too wide. Moraine gasped suddenly. Channeling, she said, leaping to her feet as a bar of something white and brilliant cut through the air toward the camp. Matt cursed, rolling out of the way. It narrowly missed him. An older woman burst from the bushes. She had gray hair set with little ornaments, and she had the ageless face of an Aes Sedai. You, Moraine said. Cadswain. Cadswain cackled, letting loose another bar of balefire, but an unexpected knife thrown by Tom startled her, and she missed Moraine narrowly. She must be one of the Forsaken, Matt cried from beside a log where he'd thrown himself. Forsaken! Cadswain exclaimed. I'm the Dark One! Not for long, Moraine said, casually waving her hand in the air. A gateway split the air right in the middle of Cadswain, chopping her in half. Instead of blood, a dark tar-like substance, stuck with beetles and dead flies, splurted onto the ground. That was a tad easier than I thought it would be, Tom noted. Yes, Moraine said, settling herself beside the fire. But I'm certain it had Matt going for a moment or two. Me? Matt asked. No, she said. The other Matt. M-A-T-T. -T. We should continue what we were doing. Matt scratched his head, but shrugged and continued on his way. He went to scout the area where their gateway was supposed to appear. It had better. They had no supplies, and Matt did not fancy flagging down a ship and riding the long way back to Camelon. 